Hello there, welcome along. This is the Heavy Metal Berserker coming at you on a Sunday with a bit of a, uh, a post-metal sludgy type review here on my channel. Hope everyone's okay out there. Um, just before I start the review of this, um, if you'd like to give a quick like and subscribe, that'd help me out a lot. Um, I'm up to about 73 subscribers now. I'd like to get to 100 by the time I got a bloodstock. So if you could do that, I'll do something special on my 100th. I'll, I'll think of something. Let me just plug that in there probably. Thank you. Yes, I'll think of something. Anyway, so the band I'm going to talk about today is called Matidi. Um, they are from Italy. It is released on Black Lion Records. And the album is called Erebos. Now, Erebos, I believe, is a Greek uh, mythology type situation. I looked up a little bit um, and it says personification of darkness, a place of darkness in the underworld on the way to Hades. <laughs> so, yes, the album's called Erebos. There's six songs, 49 minutes long. Now, this is kind of a a new genre for me, the post-metal sludgy type genre, but I must admit the past few few days, well, a week or so, I've been listening to quite a lot of sludge and progressive sludge and things like that, and it, it's kind of rocking my fucking boat, guys, so yeah. Um, now this album is their second full length. Now you have to sit and listen to this, guys. It's not something you put on in the background, do your housework or whatever. This is something you need to sit down and listen. It flows very well, the album. It keeps you intrigued. It's a concept album about the Greek mythology thing, so it's a good theme with the darkness and stuff like that. Um, I've got a little bit of a gripe on this, and that's the some of the effects on the vocals. Um, I'm not too keen on them. So, but I mean, the band has all the tools to make a game-changing, a game-changing album, really. Um, this album, it, it's fucking good, but I think maybe they can push on the next album a bit more. Um, but we'll get to that. I'm going too much forward here. So anyway, the first song on the album is called Ursharon. Asheron, um, a big tool vibe I get from this, big progressive uh, progressive tool vibe on the opening track, uh, the guitar tone, uh, there's different levels of distortion, um, as the track progresses it, it gets heavier and heavier, great bass tone on the opening track. Second song is Leith, this track is more expansive, Longer sections, clean guitars. I get a bit of Cult of Luna from this. That's the only kind of band that I know that is similar to these guys. Um, a blend of post-metal and even post-rock guitars on this one. So they're mixing it up a hell of a lot and I like it. Um, a song called Sticks. This track takes another direction completely. It's darker post-apocalyptic feel to it, it's doomy, um, post-metal build-up, the drumming's fucking awesome, there's loads of like off beats and the fucking drummer's wicked, um, great track, uh, last one I'm going to talk about is called Coctius, now, or Cocticus, <laughs> now, um, this is different again. Um, electronic industrial vibes, weird noises, distorted sounds, vocals are distorted, slow hypnotic beats. Then about three minutes in, it gets heavy with great drums. And it like peters off to the end with like a very eerie piano and really good track. Now, when they bring in the industrial elements, 
it sounds fucking awesome. So for me, there's not enough on here. Now, who wants a post a post metal industrial album? I hear you say. Well, I kind of fucking do. Uh, they use the, ind the industrial elements very, very well. Like they've been doing it for fucking ages, you know? So why not stick more of them elements in? But uh, apart from that, this album, as I say, I can hear a bit of Cult of Luna, a bit of The Ocean. I know that band a little bit. This kind of reminds me of some of The Ocean. Um, and as I say, the band has the tools and everything to make a stunning, stunning record. I think if they stick to stick to this this formula, because it's brilliant, but maybe put more of the industrial stuff in, and you've got a fucking a five star album. So, speaking of five stars, now on my channel, I am going to start rating albums that I listen to. Now, uh, Matidi, Erebus, I'm going to give a four out of five to this. It's a very, very strong album. And what I love about it is it, it takes you on a journey. So for me, that is just brilliant. I absolutely love that. So it's a four out of five. As I say, if the industrial elements were where I wanted them everywhere on the album, because they do it so fucking well, maybe it would have been a top notch five out of five. But it's a four out of five to Matidi. So that's me out, guys. There's a review for you. Go and check this out. It's a fucking good listen. Look after each other. Keep your heads banging. I'll see you soon.